I... Huh. So... There's an infinite number of universes that are all just slightly different. I don't know how many of you have seen Futurama, um, where there's the other universe and there's only the two universes. The only difference being that one has Bender with a cowboy hat. Alright, this is not a real door here. Where do you want to go, Elizabeth? Or is it a real door? It is a real door. I didn't think I could interact with that Wait door. Minute. I know this place. I was here, husband, 20 years ago, right, right after Wounded Knee. I was looking for... Some... Come on now, time's a waste. Why were you here? Are you ready to have your past erased? Are you ready to have your sins cleansed? Are you ready to be born again? Be Take baptized? My hand. No. No, I don't want to. You already did, didn't you? All right, well, accept the baptism, whatever. Again? I am. Do you hate your sins? I do. Do you hate your wickedness? Yes. Do you want to clean the slate, leave behind all you were before, and be born again in the blood of the yes. Lamb? Jesus, wash this man clean. Oh, Father, make him Stop born it. again. Lord, Stop it. No. Get off me! Get off! <laughs> it's flipping Stop out. You didn't go through with it. You think a dunk in the river is going to change the things I've done? Let's get out of here. Hey, look, these doors of yours, they're, they're all tears, right? We'll open one up. Open one up to Paris. I want to be shot of all this. Not until we find Comstock. Comstock's dead! No. He was here. This way. All right, let's go through the door. This, this, what is this, like an outhouse? Pretty big outhouse. Goods. Bring us the girl, and wipe away the debt. This is the man who hired me to find you. Really? Yes. The girl for the debt. Okay. Wait, it's a baby. This is wrong. What is this? It was no... It was no baby. I remember. No, there was no baby, and if there was, I sure as hell wouldn't give it over to this guy. Booker. You don't leave this room until you do. Do it. Time is running short. Bring us the girl and wipe away the debt. Um. I guess I don't have a choice here, do I? Go ahead. No. You can wait as long as you want. Eventually, you'll give him what he wants. How do you know all this? I can see all the doors. And what's behind all the doors. And behind one of them, I see him. Comstock. Alright. What choice do I have? The debt's paid. Mr. Comstock washes you of all your sins. Bring oh, us man. the girl and wipe away the debt. There was no baby. The deal was, I go to Columbia to get you. Booker, I'm bleeding. Oh. I remember what I remember. I... Now we've upset him. I don't expect this next bit will be much for his mood. Come on. Oh, man. You're going to put me in a worse mood? I'm trying. There we go. I was like, I, can't, I have to aim way down on the ladder, I guess. Comstock's dead. We can just go on with our lives. You don't need Dead? To... You mean like Chen Lin? Like Lady Comstock? No. He is alive in a million, a million worlds. It's not over because the Prophet is dead. Well, we can't kill it him in a million, million worlds. When he never even lived <coughs> in the first place. Um... How? We're gonna have to go hey. back in time. Hey, the deal's off, you hear me? The deal is off! It's Give her fine, back! Hurry. Give her back! Fine, are you mad? Give her back, you son of a bitch! It's ready! Go! No! No, no, Shut no! Shut down the machine! No! Shut it Anna. down! Shut down the Anna. machine! No, do it! Give me back my daughter! No! Ew! Ew! 
Gross! That cut off her finger. That is gonna be one upset baby in there. Right for so, that's horrible. Anna! No. No. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Anna, I'm sorry. Well, darn. Twenty years. Until one day, a man came to you and offered you a chance for redemption. A chance for us to be together. This is bizarre. You suppose he branded himself as some sort of penance? Mm, sure. Don't see the point. What's done is done. What's done will be done. I suppose the brand is his hair shirt, as he is ours. So we're, we're just doomed to repeat this forever? Loose the girl. Wipe away the death. See, he's starting to put his point together. He's manufacturing new memories from his own ones. The brain adapts. I should know. I lived it. Look her, wake up. Look her, wake up. This is where it started. I sold you. I sold you. To your credit, you did try to weasel out of the deal. This is all Comstock's fault. What if I went back? Killed him before he did any of this? Things get set in motion. How would one know how far back to go? Hmm. That's the only way to do it. Go back to when he was born, and I'll smother the son of a bitch in his crib. Yeah, that seems pretty reasonable. I feel kind of bad for being attracted to Elizabeth at this point. Considering she is my daughter, I guess. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. You're kind of a creep. I almost called you Connor for some reason. Booker. Alright, will this actually work? Are you sure this is what you want? Yeah. It's the only way to undo what I've done to you. Oh yeah, her chair pinky's missing. I forgot about that. Booker DeWitt, are you ready to What is this? Why are we back here? This isn't the same place, Booker. Of course it is. I remember. Wait. You're not. You're not. Who are you? You chose to walk away, but in huh. other oceans, you didn't. You took the baptism, and you were born again as a different man. Come stop. It all has to end. To have right, never there's... started. Not just in this world, but in all of ours. Smother him in the crab. Smother. 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 Ah. Before the choice is made, before you are reborn, he's Zachary Comstock. He's I am doing. Comstock. No, I'm both. Oh damn! So Booker's gonna die, and the whole game unhappens pretty much. Is that what you're telling me here? That seems to be what they're suggesting here. How were they all there to kill him? Well, problem solved, I guess. Very odd. Is that it? Guess that's it, because that's the achievement for finishing. Yep, there's the credits too. Wow. I heard it had kind of a weird ending, and I was staying clear of spoilers and so forth during that, but that was weirder than I thought it would be, to be honest. Um I mean I I like a lot of science fiction, I like Star Trek, I've liked a lot of different science fiction things, and uh their little take on the multiple universe things kinda, you know sort of a classic one I guess and 
it seemed like it makes sense, but I kind of want to replay through the game just to... Like, because those two British twins were there the whole time. I have a feeling they probably dropped a lot of clues about the end of the game before we got to it. But, all in all, I've heard a lot of really positive buzz. This game's been getting, like, hundreds and 95s and stuff. And I partially agree with that, but... I know some people are going to hate me for saying this, I actually don't think it was as good as the first Bioshock game. Um, maybe I'd feel a little bit differently if I'd played on PC, I know it would look better and the frame rate would be better, but really the technical issues weren't the thing that I really had a problem with. I just thought that Columbia wasn't as interesting as Rapture was. I liked Andrew Ryan and all the story of Rapture just was a lot more interesting. Rapture felt more like a real place if that makes any sense. Um, it, it just kind of felt like it was more of a living, breathing place, even though it was all screwed up and things were going crazy. Like, it still had, like, a consistent logic to it, and the audio logs really added a lot to that story in this game, and I feel like it didn't as much in this particular game here. Um, I liked Elizabeth. I think that's a very good addition. I thought it made um, the game a little more personal. But then things kind of took just such a weird turn at the end that kind of like makes me feel a little bit differently about all that stuff too. But uh, trying to organize my thoughts here because there's a lot to think about with what just happened there. Um, I thought the terrors were going to be a bigger part of the game. And while they sort of are, there's really kind of a limited number of different things you can do with them. Like, you know, bring in a turret, bring, you know, it's just... I, I kind of thought those were going to be a bigger deal from what I had heard before the game came out in terms of like, you know, actually seeing different times and stuff, which I guess you did, but the times just kind of all seemed the same because I wasn't familiar enough with what was actually going on in the Columbia timeline that we were in, so um, I thought a lot of the stories were just kind of not very well fleshed out in terms of the side stuff, the little schism between the workers and the factory owner I just kind of felt like that was there for no particular reason especially at the end on that um, when we were on the airship the prophet's hand thing and that that battle was really difficult and I didn't really truly understand why the workers were like so hell-bent to kill Booker and all that but whatever um, songbird wasn't as big of a part of the game as I thought I know this sounds really negative but all in all, I really did enjoy it. I just don't understand why people are saying it's like the game of the decade and stuff. I, I don't feel like I played the same game that they did, to be honest, because, like I said, I liked the first Bioshock quite a bit better, and uh, even Bioshock 2. I actually like Bioshock 2 a lot, too. I guess if you just fall in love with Columbia, you'll like the game a lot. I didn't fall in love with Columbia as much as I did with Rapture, so that's probably a part of it, but... I mean, all in all, it had the same problems that Bioshock 1 and 2 had in that it's not the best shooter. Um, it felt a little worse because I was playing on Xbox, which I understand is the worst version of the game. I knew it wasn't going to be as good as PC, but apparently, the, for whatever reason, the PS3 version actually is a little bit better than this version. Which is surprising because usually that's the opposite. It was with the first Bioshock. I know the first Bioshock was, like, unplayable when they ported it over to PS3 from what I heard. But, um... Yeah, I mean, there were really just a couple places where the frame rate was an issue for me. Generally, I don't really care about that stuff. I'm not one of those frame-counting people. As long as it's smooth enough that you can play it, I don't really care, but... It got pretty bad on that airship. Um... And I guess the final thing I'll say is just, uh... It really kind of throws a lot of stuff into question, I guess, for Bioshock. Like, we went to Rapture, so they're acknowledging that Rapture exists. But, um... I guess it just kind of throws all that into question. Like, does Rapture happen the same way? I guess if this guy dies, does all, do all those other lighthouses still exist? Because it happened before he ever existed? I don't know. That That's always the difficult thing about these sort of things is this style of story is just like what really happened, what didn't really happen, what counts, what doesn't count. Alternate timelines and time travel and multi-universe things are just confusing I, I don't know but anywho um, I would highly recommend the game I'm not real sure about the DLC I was thinking about buying the season pass but now that I finished the game I think I'm gonna hold off on that just because I'm really not sure what DLC they could even do for the game at this point I don't see like 
a little Minerva's Den kind of thing really fitting in here, but I don't know. They're smart people. I'm sure they'll figure something out. I hope it's not just a shameless cash grab and they're not going to really be good, but we'll see what ends up getting announced for those. I'll probably end up buying them and playing them, but maybe not. I'm glad they didn't put multiplayer into this game like they did with Bioshock 2 because, you know, that's never really a good thing in my opinion to put multiplayer into these kind of games. Like, I wish Tomb Raider hadn't done it because it's kind of a crappy multiplayer. The Bioshock 2 multiplayer actually was okay though. But, um, I'm going to have to go online and do some reading I think after this one. I don't usually do that, but I got to kind of try to figure this out and I probably will buy this game in a while on Steam. I'm going to take a break and not play through it again right away. Uh, but I, I want to play it through on PC now that I know how bad the frame rate gets in places and what not. But, uh, anyway guys, uh, I have finished Bioshock 2 and Minerva's Den, so those will both be uploaded after this, because I started uploading Bioshock 2, but then this game came out and I wanted to get it done. Um, I actually played through this game in about a week, um, so... I don't know how that's all, when this is going to end up getting uploaded. Probably a few weeks from now. But um, any guy, anyway guys, I'm going to do my usual thing. I want to thank everybody who has watched this video or any of my videos. Uh, go ahead and leave likes if you have liked any of my videos. I appreciate that. Um, I always appreciate subscribers, of course, and comments are my favorite. Um, if you haven't already, if you have any friends, family, whatever, who'd be interested in my channel, go ahead and let them know. I, I you know, kind of keep this thing growing here. And, uh... I, I want to thank you guys again for watching. I really do appreciate it, and I will catch you guys in the next playthrough. Anna. All right. Well, after the credits, there's something going on here. Let's see what's going on. Anna. Yes. Anna. Is that you? I guess that's about it. I don't know if she was really in there or not. Anyway, is this going to be back to the menu now? Kind of feels like it's going back to the menu. Yeah, it's going back to the menu. Well, anyway, guys, thanks again. Catch you later.